Hello Will Ladders. On today's episode, I'll be putting a dual battery system in my van, which means I can charge my computer, camera batteries, and of course, a fridge to keep the little beers cold. I've found a lot of videos online explaining dual battery systems for utes and vans, and I've got to say, they are overcomplicated and I feel confused. Don't worry, I'm going to oversimplify things but you'll still be confused by the end of the video. Bruh. So what we're gonna need is a DC solar charger battery, a battery box, and of course, a battery. The first thing we needed to do was get the van battery ready. So this meant we had to move the front seat back and find the battery where it is. And when I opened it up, I found that the van's got two batteries. So, sick, I guess. And I also took the inverter away because A, there's going to be a kitchen that's going to block it from getting used and B, I don't really need it and it's just in the way. The next step was to move the cords from the main battery behind the seat to where I'm going to put the second battery. And when I was planning the installation and the walls, I put a tube there so when I screwed into the walls I could fish the cords from side to side. So where the new battery is going to be. The cord is also doubled cord. So one's going to go to the battery and the other one's going to go to the solar panel that's going to be on the roof. Both are going to go to the DC charger box which is going to charge the solar and the car battery to the second battery. When it came to the DC charger box I had to make sure to get the right cords to wear. So I had to get it from the battery in the van. I left the solar one free for next time and also an earth cord and then one that will enter the battery box. When connecting the cord you had to cut it to the right length you want it, then get a Stanley knife and cut the little tube off so it was just the wire, get this little ring thing, put it on and then get the electrical clamps and go <coughs> and then when that's done you get some electrical tape, cut it open, put it on the thing where it meets the jewel part, get a heat gun and then bang, you got yourself an electrical cord. I also put on two circuit breakers. The point of these was if there's too much power coming from the car battery into the second battery, it won't overheat and it'll just BAM! Cut it off and circuit break it. And I also put another one on for the solar panels which I think will be running for over half of the day or when there is sunlight, which I think in the desert of Australia, well, there's not going to be a shortage of that now, is it? We got the car battery ready. Then we got the battery charger ready. Then we got the circuit breakers ready. Now there was one last thing to do, and that was the battery box and the main battery. For the battery box, I decided where to put it in the van, right there, and I decided that, okay, this is where I want it. So I screwed it to the floor, the reason why, if I slam the brakes, I don't want this big battery to go across the room, even though it'll be covered, but I really want it to move around. After that, I put the battery in, and then got the cords and put them all together, and I also had to put some cords from the top of the battery box into it as well, tighten it up, put it on, bang, we got power, it was that easy, really, and um, the battery charger working as well, coming from the car battery, was charging it. So, in the next episode, I'll be putting solar panels and a fan on. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, just ask in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.